Hey everyone, this is Dennis from Little Big Gunpla, and there is the Genoways Custom all in pieces. So let's go ahead and take them bit by bit and review them. Okay, the first thing we'll be reviewing is the body and the head. Uh, the head looks really nice. Um, it's, a, it's a much uh, improvement from the uh, original Genoways. Um, the, they have sticker right there where the green is, and on the back, and it's two little eyes. I don't know if you could really see it. There's like two little spots like on each side and uh, it has the eyes inside uh, instead of the little cyclops look which I, you know, I, I really didn't like on the uh, original Genoways. But um, you got the backpack. Um, the, the throttles don't move at all. They're just stationary. Um, <clears throat> that's how it's connected by these little pegs. So you just snap it right in. And the head... Uh, I guess it really can't do a 360. It kind of like just can move back and forth because if you lift it up like above, it's going to pop out. So <clears throat> it's really just a back and forth kind of thing. Uh, and it does go up and down. Just, yeah, barely. Um, and the little, I guess the torso part right here goes side to side that much. So it has a, a wide range of movement. And it can go back and forth. So yeah. let's look at the arm and the hand. Um, the arm can go all the way up like that, down. And it can rotate right here, right uh, below the so uh, shoulder. Um, it can move up that much, so about a 90 degree angle. The wrist rotates full 360. And, uh, yeah, it's not really much detail that you could put into it. Really just these couple little holes, a um, couple of lines here and there. And that's really about it. I mean, you can go into, like, these little parts and, you know, just draw a little line. But I, there, was, there was really no point to me, at least. So I just did in these little, um, like, little valley parts or whatever. All right. Here's the waist. Um, you get these little flaps that are connected on these little uh, joints and it's, they just go up and down pretty much and there's nothing else to it you know um, the legs connect right here and this doesn't move at all it's just one block piece um, here's where you can put it on a stand uh, it's pretty plain looking it's a lot like the uh, the cut um, yeah, the original Genoways so this is really not much of an improvement here and here we are with the leg the, this little piece which connects to the waist can rotate and here has two points of articulation so it's one side here one side here so you not really gonna get too much I would call that maybe like a 110 degree um, then you got this the little foot rotates back and forth and up and down that much so it's not really, <clears throat> it's not really much, but it it does it for me. And you can actually kind of detail this a lot. I just, I really chose not to. Uh, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to things like this. So yeah. Okay, looking at the weapons, you got the. Uh, I guess this is just a regular uh, beam gun or pistol, and uh, it comes with a bayonet that you can uh, attach to it. But the really nice thing is the bayonet can come off. So that's really cool. Um, and you can go ahead and add on to the, uh, to the hand. Um, you gotta take this little piece off. Get it just like that. And bam. Now you have like a little, little knife. So that's really cool. But, uh, yep, and then it just attaches right here underneath. You just kind of snap it in. And then you snap this other piece in. And there you go. So I think it's really nice. And it fits in the hand without even taking off the back piece. So, and it fits in there pretty cozy. So there's really no problems with that. And the next one. It's going to be this little tiny pea shooter. <laughs> uh, it's like a little little Uzi. little tiny machine gun. Um, there's like no detailing really here. It was just two pieces slapped on. And this little piece, pop, uh, you pop that on as well. 
and it snaps in the arm, I mean the hand, uh, just like that. So you can have like a, a dual wielding effect, it's not really too bad. And the last thing with the weapons would be the shield. And the shield is pretty much the same thing as the uh, the other one, and it comes with this, the little uh, screwdriver rod looking thing, which is pretty useless, so I just tuck it in here. But yeah, I mean, you just uh, snap it into the little hole, like this little piece, snap it right in, and there you go. So, and then you can put a little wolf sticker on there. So I put mine on both the shield and the uh, the gun, because I didn't know what else to do with it. So yeah, that's it for the weapons and the shield. Okay, now that he's in pieces and he's been reviewed, let's go ahead and put them together and do our final review of them. And there he is, all put together. Um, like, just appearance-wise, he's a big step up from the original. Um, I really like the whole the white and the gray contrast. I think it looks really good, and the uh, the visor kind of offsets it, um, just just to like at least get your attention. So I think with with this, they did a really good job with the grunt suit. Um, it's still to me, it's not it's not like the most amazing grunt suit I've ever seen. But for the series, I think I think it's pretty good. Uh, I would like to see more improvements, uh, especially with the um, I forgot the name of it. I think it's the Exus or something like that. Um, the new one, I, I believe, um, Wolf will be getting in the new uh, new episode. But uh, that one looks really good, and uh, I'm pretty excited to get that one as a high grade, and then pretty much put that on my high grade uh, shelf for all the other other guys. Um, also, um, like its weapons, uh, I think were really amazing. Uh, and here he is twirling around with uh, with his dual guns. Um, he looks really good in certain poses. Um, try and I usually just use the uh, the two guns in his poses, and um, instead of using the beam saber. But uh, he looks really good, and uh, I highly recommend him to anyone who is a fan of the Age series. He uh, he's definitely on my Age uh, model shelf right now because I kind of vowed to get every single Age model kit that comes out. Not necessarily because I like them, but because it's just, the age to me is, is starting fresh. Because when I got back into, uh, well actually when I first got into uh, gun and modeling, um, I watched the 00 series. And when I was a kid I bought like one or two models, but that was when the Wing series was the only one I was out at that time. And um, yeah, that was, that was my Toonami days. <laughs> But yeah, um, this is kind of like me starting fresh, even though it's kind of like more of a childish Gundam series rather than uh, the 00 series. So I just want to start fresh, and I'm going to get every single model kit that comes out, um, except except for the uh, advanced grades, because that is just trash, in my opinion. I do, I, I'm not playing the game, I'm not doing none of that, so pretty much just high grades and master grades, and that's it for me. Um, so yeah, um, so this Friday, the Titus is coming out, I am so excited, and then, uh, Saturday, the real grade Freedom comes out, so I have two Gundams to review this weekend, and, uh, I'll be going to Hiroshima, see if I can pick up anything rare, you know, it's just something I, I, I might, you know, want to build later on, but, uh, now that I've finished this guy, I'm gonna finish my, uh, real grade, um, RX, uh, RX-78-2, and, uh, start reviewing him. Alright, so uh, overall, this is a great a great mobile suit. I highly recommend it to anyone who is a fan of the Grunts, uh, the grunts or the Gundam A series. You can put them in some really fantastic poses, um, even on the stand, you know, put them on the, the pose that's on the cover of his box. So yeah, um, just go out, buy it, uh, <laughs> and, and force Bandai to keep making more and better models. Alright, uh, that's, that's the end of my review, so y'all take care and uh, stay tuned for more.